everybody, Keith Best here, and in this video, I'm just going to go over basically step eight in the step by step. And this is where you're actually making your site into an evergreen site. Now, all that means really is making it so that's as simple as possible for you to deploy the site over and over and over again in different areas. Okay, so basically, what you will do if you haven't already done so let's just open this up you will create all of your x fields okay so things like the phone number needs to be in an x field if you've got videos on then put them in x field because then as i show in other videos in the more advanced stuff you can actually display a different video on a different page depending on how you use the location sets. This is a new site, so it's got no location sets in yet. Um, so that's your video is obviously company name, so you can change your company name, obviously your email address, that needs to be in there. All of your schema ID, all of the data for your schema needs to be in there. And, you know, I always put in like sort of my same as, which goes into my schema, the location URL, you know, your X field schema description, and everything like that wants to be in there. Where is my schema gone? I think it's gone to the bottom. It has. So basically, when I open this schema, what I get here is I've got my schema city, my region, my zip. Now these fields here, this schema is inside of the user guide. So you can actually just import it in, which I show you how to do that on a different video. And my X fields are also inside the user guide. So again, you can just import them in and change them according to what you want. So you've got all of these things already in. And that is basically it. Once you've got that, and once you've got your content well spun, so that every time you put up a new site, it is a complete, it looks like a completely different site because the terminology on it, everything like that is all different to Google. So there I've got content on there. Now this one, I haven't put um, spun images, I'm not sure why, but I would normally put spun images in there. But I've got all of the content spun, I've got a video on, I've got me city short code goes, is in there. So everything is ready, okay? Now, once you've got that ready, what I would say do is basically, whichever backup system you use, I use Updraft Plus, Just basically back your site up. As you can see, this one is set to back up every week because this is a live site now, so I get it backed up every week. But back it up to somewhere, and I always back my site up to something what I'll call like sort of pest control base sites. And that I know is my base site for everything. So when I come to do a new site, say I decide to do one in texas all i will do is restore my base site and then basically change the data inside the magic page and bang it's done as i showed in one of my videos i can put a site up now going from you know buying the domain hosting the domain the whole lot in an hour at the most so getting your base site right is very very important that will then, like I say, be an evergreen site which you can just deploy, 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 deploy. And you obviously you can change it. So if you restore it and then you make some little tweaks to it, then back it up again. Okay, so your base site is always up to date. And that's the site what you mess with. That's the site what you add different things to. Then you save it. And then you're good to go. Okay?
So that's how you do your base site. Hope that was useful, guys. Catch you on the next video. Bye.